Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, it's more of our adventure guild. You may be saying, why are you on the main menu screen? I did this game dirty, so I didn't realize again, and I apologies for this, I didn't record the background audio for the game, and I just wanted to show because this is a new game, right? Not like a Darkest Dungeon, which it's been out for some time now. People have seen playthroughs of it. Uh, they know what it's about, roughly. Peglin's been on the channel hundreds of times, right? You, you can get the dopamine from the ding ding noises. You can imagine it in your brain. This game, though, people haven't seen it, and I, I did it dirty because, as I said, it made it kind of look like there was no background audio uh, when there was, so I'm playing the background audio from the the main menu. It's very nice, very fantasy. Uh, but anyway, we're going to load back into the drinking ostrich now. Now, just by the way, the characters weren't voiced, so that's why I was reading it out. Very fortunate the characters weren't voiced, by the way. Uh, so you didn't actually miss too much of it. But there is this nice little tune in the background. Uh, anyway, we have a side objective we sent some people out onto. I think where we left off last time was we're just going to do another quest, right? So one day remaining on this. And one day on this. Explore area or collect items. Let me do collect items with one day left because that's 1920 experience. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that seems really good. Uh, supplies for Adventurer 2, it recommends. Okay. So. We're going to bring four people. Two times four. Eight. <laughs> there you go. So we'll give you these. I'll bring these as well. Whoops, a daisy. I didn't want to bring all of them. I'll bring the rings. Why not? We'll throw that on some people. In fact, can I equip it at this screen? Because I prefer just to equip it here. Also, for people who have done martial arts, I don't know if I've got anyone that's done martial arts, to be completely honest with you. All right, let's bring Clara. Clara? There you go. And... Dodge magic attack. Let me give you poison resist. We can put it on this screen. Excellent. Then I do like having mages, so I'll bring Ava along as well. And Ava, you can take the magical attack ring. Very good. Then Grace. Take one of these. Oh, you can't wear the same ring twice. Okay. What is this symbol in the bottom right? Does this mean they have some sort of friendship with one another? Or is it the opposite? Do they hate each other? Who had an argument with Ava? Someone had a drunken argument, right? Uh, I don't know if it was anyone here. Oh, it is. It's Clara. Oh, hang on a minute. Clara, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. Can I have that back? Okay, never mind. Clara, you can, you can hold that. How do I get you off here? I can't drag, save, unequip, dismiss. I don't mean like get rid of you permanently, you know. Okay, that's fine. You push the dismiss button. Uh, do I bring darkness? No, because she's injured. I guess what we could do then is bring, we'll bring Fremont instead. I think he's really slightly different from the other guys. Yeah, he's a great sword guy with cleave. Uh, and then we'll bring Colton along I suppose. Colton you can hold the other dodge ring. Now can hang on whoops increase hit points SP and dodge gives you a bunch of resistances and SP requires light armor requires medium armor Plus 15 minutes. Uh, is this counted as, it's counted as light? Maybe I'll take these resistances off and just throw this on for even just a bit more dodge because I've not really seen any elemental creatures so far. Not really like, you know, the cleric wearing the gi makes sense, but uh, just roll with it, I suppose. Then I'll bring a shovel along with me. It seems quite useful to have them. 
Oh, I've also got this, the Adept Staff. That I should probably stick on you, right? For increased magic. Also some monster blood. Cool. I'll bring an antidote. I'll bring a bandage. Okay. Right. I do want you two at the front. You two at the back. That seems reasonable. Go. Alright. Sure. Have ten then. I'm glad it gives you a little warning. Uh, it's been a few days since I played this again. So. Uh, uh, forgive me if I forget some of like, the interactions. Ooh. Okay, it's caves. We have to collect three rare mushrooms. I will use a shovel. Because obviously you want to collect resources. Right, the rare mushrooms don't look like the normal mushrooms. That's also good to know. Ooh, hang on a minute. Mystery quest. Do you want to try and disarm the trap? It is good for experience. Nice. All right, while wandering through the caves, the party suddenly start to hear the sound of clashing metals in the distance. They immediately realize that those were the sounds of battle unfolding somewhere in the distance. Approach the sound of battle, avoid it in any different direction. Approach the sound of battle. I want to know what's going on. They decided to follow the sound. Whatever it was uh, that was happening, not knowing could be the far worse decision. The party slowly approached the source of the sound, and closer they got, the more intense the sounds became. When they finally arrived, they finally saw what was happening. Before them, a group of young people were fighting another group of lizardmen. Judging from the equipment they were wearing, it seemed like the humans were adventurers, albeit not adventurers associated with the guild. It was evident to the party that the humans were about to lose the battle. They were surrounded and outnumbered, and some of them were covered in heavy injuries. If the party does nothing, the young adventure group will surely perish. Then again, there are a lot of lizardmen. We're going to intervene and help. Because they might join me, and they might love me, and they might work for reduced rates. The party immediately sprung into action and charged into the Lizardmen, who were surprised by the sudden appearance of reinforcements. Seeing as their original foe was nearly at their end, most of the Lizardmen turned their attention to the party. Prepare for battle. Okay, cool. What are these things? Increase accuracy and dodge by 20 of anyone within one tile radius. Ooh. That seems pretty good for you, so... Let me whack you up there. That's your turn. Two Lizardmen. What has the Lizardman got going for him? He has Reach. Increase range of melee skills by one, so he can be two tiles away from me. And therefore a spirit that can hit from two tiles. Okay, that's kind of spooky. The Cleric. We'll whack you in this corner for a second. By the way, what does this one do? Increase physical attack bonus and magical attack bonus by 20% of anyone. So we want the, the, the spellcaster to be so next to that. And I want you front and center, Fremont. You have Cleave, Power Strike, and Slash. So Cleave hits the front three rows, I see. Or the front three enemies in front of you. You know what I mean. Uh, and Power Strike just does a big amount of damage. Okay. Now come in. And then Ava. What does this one do, sorry? Restore 50% SP. I want you to get over here, so we'll put you there for now. That's because of the dodge. That's not because of the dodge. Okay, Grace has Quick Slash, Throw Knife, and Archery Strike. So Archery Strike does bleeding. Okay. Let's go Heroic. 
100% chance to hit. And we got the bleed. And then you hold here for now. Colton? Move. <laughs> That's the first thing you're going to have to do. We'll drop a heal here. Ava! You can't hit with that. You can hit with that. Man, these lizardmen are pretty tough. Okay, Fremont. Flank him. And then go for a cleave, right? Oh, it can hit me as well. There's, there is not friendly fire. Okay, we'll go with a power strike then. I'll not risk it at 79. I think this battle's actually pretty tough. Power strike. Nine damage. Very good. Okay, back to you. We could drop another heal off. Uh, sure. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Did not expect you to go that way. Keep stacking the bleed. Uh, 84 to hit. I, I, I just want to make sure we get this guy. Oh, sneak attack. I guess because I'm flanking the unit. Or there's an adjacent unit. Okay. You... Should move to here. Because now you'll do more damage. Lightning bolt. That nerd. Interesting that it chained. Why did that chain? Hmm. Why did that chain? Okay. Hmm. I'm not entirely certain. 79 to hit there, 74 to hit there. Again, just kill one of these guys. That has to be the, the first goal. Crit for 20 is humongous. I think that means he dies to bleed, because he's only on 3, right? And takes X true damage at the start of their turns. So yeah, he's going to take 3 damage at the start of the next turn. Yep, he dies. Right, Colton. I need you to walk up here, buddy. I can't quite hit who I want with the heal. And I can't hit who I want with the magic missile, so I think... Hmm. We'll put a heal here, just get you back to full. Oh my god. Death resisted. You'll not best me. When an adventure takes me reaches zero, they will not always automatically die. Depending on their bravery stat, they may be able to survive the killing blow, instantly healing themselves. But with each killing blow, the likelihood of surviving another one gets lower. When an adventurer's BP reaches zero, they will gain a shaken status. The status will lower their battle prowess and reduce the max BP the adventurer can have. Additionally, a shaken adventurer will not survive a death blow. The shaken status will persist until the end of the quest. Are you shaken? Is this why I'm learning about this? No. You kind of just have to run away. See you later. <laughs> We're out of here. And then I can't hit you with anything, so... Right. You move up. Start swinging. Right. Big heels. Colton, 
Start moving. I'm going to try and get you to the blue stone. Ava? Walk to here. Hit them into your friend. Sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> right. I need to stop doing that. Sorry, Ava. Still, we saved the people. And that felt like a pretty hard battle. Lizard wind scale. I'll take them all, please. Uh, the party managed to slay the lizardmen who came for them and saw that the other group also managed to survive. One of them, probably the leader of the group, approached the party. He thanked the party for saving their lives and told them, as expected, they were adventurers who were doing a quest. The party asked him if they still needed some help with their quest. The young man shook his head. After this experience, I don't think... Sorry, I don't feel like that this kind of life suits me. And I'm sure the rest of my group feels the same. We'll probably all go home now, the young adventurer said. But well, we can't leave before giving some rewards to our survivors, or saviors even. <laughs> Here in the, uh, is the gold we receive for doing the quest. We're supposed to slay this group of lizardmen. Seeing as you, uh, how you, most of them were killed by you, I'd say this gold rightly belongs to you. He hands the party a big sack of gold. With this, the young adventurer group once again thank the party for their re rescue and bid them a farewell. Uh, are there any clerics amongst you? Just asking for a friend. The party continued their journey. Some of them couldn't help but smile. Saving others like this doesn't feel too bad. Nice. 882, very good. Uh, and they all gained some BP. Okay, Ava. Ava, Ava, Ava. I think you should be drinking one of these. How do I drink? Use. Very good, back to full. Out of interest on Ava, by the way. Bravery 10, so it did really hit my bravery points. Uh, that's still fine, though. Cool. Okay, so there's one more mushroom in here somewhere. I was going to say, that's not a special thing, right? What the hell are you? Excuse me, I'll be on my way. Alright, we'll do a battle. Wow, that's a lot of goblins! How much health did they have? 15. They're not too spooky. Restore 50% SP. Alright. Let's start doing the move. Alton, you do the move over here because I want you to get this. You take to the front line. Don't know why I said ah, they missed. Ava, didn't mean to do that. Ava. Sit behind on them. We can do a little lightning. Nice. Nearly one shot one of them. I'm trying to set up a position. Oh my god, Ava is just getting rolled again. Where potentially. Okay, we should just not have Ava near the front. I, I want to potentially set up a cleave. A giant cleave. Sadly, you go last. Get rolled. Uh, and then see you later. <laughs> I'm out of there. Right, you move. Collect. Nice. So much SP back. 
We don't have AP for that. That's your turn. You fool, I loved it. Okay. Just don't screw this up. Don't stay in a position where you can get Giga Cleaved. I'm going to move Grace into the front line as well. And go for a little quick stab here. Nice. Now you're going to get struck back. Cost of doing business. Finally, a cleave. Double hit. Very good. Okay. I have the high ground. <laughs> jab, jab. And back over here we go. They have the high ground now, Anakin. You do a heal. Very good. Then Colton, move. Okay, nice dodge. Ava! You do a move. You do a... A chain, please. You miss? Disgraceful. Oh, I don't have enough for the cleave anymore. Oh, well. We'll just take a single kill, then. Uh, I presume Ava is going to get shot at again here. So, I'm actually going to move her. Ping the guy on top of the hill. Colton, do a little heal. Do a little jab. Uh, I should have moved you then, potentially to get the blue crystal. In fact, I definitely should have moved you. Bonk. Ah, you're going first now, interestingly. Uh, I can move you here. Can you pick this up? You can. Excellent. Okay, we didn't miss out on the blue crystal. Colton. Get a bit of damage in. And then we get a chain attack off as well. Cool. More importantly, some good experience. Right. Is this thing going to follow me? Kind of. I think at this point we can do a little camp. Nice hearty meal. For recovery. Uh, characters perform actions. We have seven points. Encourage. Meditate. Prayer. Night Watch. I think avoiding getting caught in a battle during night is pretty good. The next three encounter adventurer will be hidden at the start of battle for three turns. Hmm. What have you got? The character sharpens his weapon, granting plus 20% more physical attack bonus for three encounters. Give him that. And I mean my BP is basically full across the board. Colton, do that for Grace. It's in a beautiful spot. I love camping out in the wilderness. We're in a cave. I can relate, it's peaceful out here. We're in a cave with some sort of elemental thing coming after us as well. And he's still there. He just watched her sleep. Very sinister. Game? Oh, never mind. I thought we had a little crash then. Uh, we didn't. Oh. You know what, goblins? 
On guard. Alright, so a lot of goblins, but only two of them are ranged. What are you again? Increase accuracy and dodge. Cool. Stand there. Flank. Backline, please. You're just lining up for a cleave. Just letting you know. But not yet. Next turn will cleave. What is this even for, by the way? 13 to 90, which is just big damage. These have 21 health. So... It depends on the roll of this. Nine. Uh, we might want to go for the big strike next time. You fool, I've increased my dodge. Okay, let me try and open his veins. And we had a sneak attack on that because we're flanking with another unit. Ooh. Okay, you're setting up a, a nice cleave here. Heal. Alright, Ava. We'll put you here, next to the crystal. And I'll do my favorite maneuver. You know what? I'll push you that way. Just get one shot. I'm just too strong, it turns out. Right, this is going to go this way. Oh, there's a percentage chain chance. Okay, I understand. Let, let's spend some battle points here to make this... 79 to hit and 94 to hit. Nice. And I think you can just stay there, by the way. No offense, buddy. Uh, but you're acting as a pretty good distraction. Right, now, Ava's going to take a few hits as well. Kind of just the cost of doing business. What is... Oh, they've become heroic. Plus 10 dodge, plus 10 block, plus 10 act, plus 10 crit. And it's glowing. Why is it glowing? Can I ult them? <laughs> is my ult ready? Again, I approve of the one-shots right now. Okay. You should probably go for this guy. I'll boost your move again. He missed an 89. All right. I mean, I, he missed 89% of the chance, uh, shots. 89% of the time, right? How was my week, New Mew? Pretty bad, honestly. Uh, turned out, and you may have noticed this, I was recording without background audio, so... That wasn't my smoothest idea. Uh, but we live and learn, right? Anyway, the background audio is not on now, so... Missing 84 now, okay. Very XCOM like. Fourteen to sixteen. Ooh, I'm out of SP as well. Uh we'll move here then I guess. Nice, just one shot. I think it was a six six percent chance to get the one shot. Taking a little bit too much damage now, for my liking. Okay, we're out though. I 
And I feel like we're getting a lot of experience for all of this, so I'll take it. There is... There is more badness, potentially. We'll use a key on that. I'll take it. Ooh, what was that? What was that shiny? Uh, increased resistances across the board. Uh, let me whack that on you. And I think I won't mess around here. Uh, you can use this. Get back to near full. We might be able to avoid this battle. How's the YouTube channel going? Uh, it... Okay. Not terrible. Not fantastic. I mean, it's just like all small channels, right? It's just hard to find that, like, niche in the market. Especially when you're a gaming channel, which is, like, the most saturated market, so... And then, obviously, I've just uploaded videos for, like, three days with no background audio, so... Uh, it could be better. It has developed a bit. I mean, it's, like... 300, I mean, YouTube can tell me, like 380 plus subs right now. The next milestone I'm trying to hit is 500, but it's taking me a little bit longer than I was hoping for. Uh, we'll continue exploring. Ooh, another fancy bangle. Uh, you know what? That could go on you, Fremont. You've earned it, kid. And I think that is Return to Guild. A bit of a waste of the health potion, but if I got stuck in a battle then, I'm thankful for having it. Try only fans. Yeah, I could. And the Lono, Fiola. I have a specific quest I'd like you to see. Is that so? You could have just put it on the pile of the other quests. I was worried you might overlook it because of the rewards for it isn't much. It's from an old couple who can't afford much. Well, we're not doing it then. <laughs> What's the quest about? They're missing their son. The son has recently decided to become an adventurer. One that isn't affiliated with the Adventurer Guild. Fuck him then. They said that they lost contact with him after he accepted his first quest. That doesn't bode well. Now they're asking us to find him. They're clinging to the hope that he's still alive. I'll think about it. Is that some kind of curse? I know I'm always saying you're a witch, but that was just to insult you. Uh, do I have to think of something else now? Shut up. I was trying to thank you. Why? That's it. I'm out of here. Alright. I wonder why she's invested enough in this to say she tried to do the unthinkable. Uh, story quests. Story quests are different from usual quests you receive. Unlike normal quests, story quests have unique maps and unique events waiting for you. They will automatically unlock when certain conditions are met. Not all story quests have to be completed, but unique rewards will be awarded upon completing them. To select the story quest, go to the quest overview and click on the story quest tab. Alright, maybe we will do it then, if we get a unique reward. Although my entire party right now seems very injured. There are adventurers who are ready to level up. We can do that. How does one do that again? <laughs> How does one level up? It's in here, right? Or am I speaking to someone for now? Oh, who the hell are you? Hello. Asterid? God damn it. How often do I have to tell you? That's not how you shoot an arrow. I'm sorry, ma'am. Hold it like this. Now try it again. She, she was trying to aim it with the pointy end pointing towards her. That's not how you shoot an arrow. Uh, yes. Whoosh. The arrow missed the target by a mile. Are you trying to piss me off? Yikes. No, no ma'am. Do you like kittens? What? I said, do you like kittens? Y yes. 
very, very much so, then maybe I just get a whole bunch of them and put them everywhere but the targets. Astrid, we're not going to get along, are we? Maybe that will motivate you to hit the damn target. No! Dear gods. Whoa there. I think there's enough training for today. How about we just call it a day and continue tomorrow? Yes. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Look how fast you can run when it's not lapped around the field. Asterisk. How often have I told you that it would be better if you were just a little bit nicer to the adventurers? I think it was per- uh, sorry, I think I was perfectly reasonable. Really? The whole kidding thing was reasonable? Did you even hear yourself? A falcon? Oh, Guildmaster. You saw all of that, huh? Ah, pretty much. Ugh, oh, I don't think you two have ever met yet. Guildmaster, let me introduce you to Astrid, the Archer Instructor. Astrid, this is the new Guildmaster of the Adventurer Guild. Andalono, you meant to say my name as well at the end of that. Are you also here to tell me how to do my job? Normally I wouldn't. But I do think threatening to take kittens as hostages goes a bit too far. Fine, I won't take kittens as hostages. I'd have never thought that something like that was even on the table. Okay, cool. Nice lore, nice story. Okay, adventurers with skill points. Okay. Oh, you have to... I remember now. You have to tell them to level up, right? Where is it? It's here. And then we have to roll. That's really good. I will take it. That's acceptable. She leveled up twice. Uh, also acceptable, by the way. That's okay. And where is my last guy? There you are, Colton. No, we can do better. That, I think, is better. Okay. Now you go to here. There's still adventures that can learn new skills. Yes, I was about to go there. All right, adventurers with skill points. We have Colton, Fremont, Grace, and Ava. Let's look at Ava first. So Ava, we can get water bubble, magic shield, earth armor. Target gains barrier, negating damage up to 50% magical attack points. Okay. Wet for three turns is water bubble. I don't know what I was expecting. And resistance, physical resistance for three turns, earth resistance for three, fire resistance for three, lightning resistance for three. Okay. Increase magical penetration by 20, increase accuracy by 10, increase movement by one, increase SP by 20. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'm actually pretty happy with Ava's skills as they are. I'm not really clamoring to grab some new ones. And I've not really ha hit a situation where I felt like I need magic penetration. So, you know what? Just give me inner power. More SP, so I can cast more spells. Grace. Increase crit by five. Shadow Step. Teleports to selected tile hidden until next turn. 30% physical attack until next turn. That sounds really, really cool. They have a dodge. They gain plus 50 dodge. Uh, or under dog. Enemies will no longer get bonus hit chance for each of their allies surrounding this unit. So just basically, uh, don't get surrounded. We're going to take Shadow Step. Very cool. Alright, Fremont, we've not looked at you before, or your class at least. 
Cover and taunt. And then second wind. Okay, so they have the similar skills to the defender, right? Uh, increase accuracy. I guess move. And SB. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is only one action point. Uh, you know what? Give me second wind then. And Colton. Protection against the elements. And Aegis was physical, right? Yes. Healing effects are 20% stronger and will also remove bleeding. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's put you in a different direction. Let me give you some additional healing. Cool. Okay. Anything else I'm missing? Apparently not. Right, the merchant, we're going to need to buy some stuff. You're sold out of healing potions. Yikes. I guess you restock pretty soon, though. So actually losing that health potion was pretty bad. We can craft some fine daggers, a fine greatsword as well. I think... Hmm, hang on a minute. I can only... No, I can do both. Or plate armor. Actually, give me some plate armor. And... That's that. I can't quite afford anything else. But I feel like defense... It's pretty useful for the way I've been playing the game right now, where I just put a big tanky unit in the front to get all the hits. I don't need the temple right now. I don't have this unlocked. Manage adventures and parties. Make it quick. Fiola lost son. You know, I'm surprised that you even care about some people lost their son. So what? What do you care what I think about some quests? Well, I just never thought you were the creature capable of feeling compassion. Is that all you came to see me for? To make a snidey remark? Eh, pretty much. I'll never understand how Fran was able to be friends with you. Let's keep this short. You know what, Fiola? You're actually taking the death of your husband pretty well. Now that I think about it. Especially since I've come over and I've just been really an arsehole to you. She's actually holding it pretty well. Uh, Fiola. You know you could just go home. <laughs> There's no reason for you to be here anymore. This is my home. Where else should I be? I'm such an arsehole, aren't I? You know what I mean. Don't be ridiculous. Even if I wanted to return back to that place, it's not like I'm welcome there anymore. Your fault for getting involved with adventurers. I don't regret it. Well, I do regret getting myself involved with you. But I do not regret falling in love. Love. You've been nothing but a pain in the neck for me ever since I met you. What a coincidence. I was just thinking the same. Let's keep this short. Alright, that's all. Good. Oh. Manage. Oh, it tells you all the stuff they can do. Rank copper currently. What is this manage button? It just brings me to this page as well. Okay, cool. Manage adventurers. I was wondering if I could put them in like pre-designed party so I can just click on a button and say like, you know, bring out the the Alpha Alpacas and it would bring out four people for me apart the Alpha Alpacas. And then maybe, you know, I want the 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 beta badges and you know beta badges come up instead. Uh how many people can I actually bring out in a mission right now? Three. <laughs> Uh, okay, we might want to do a little rest then. Guild inside stories, game menu. Yeah. Do a little sleep. Assignment completed, find the mysterious. The adventurers found the person disturbing the roads, and it turned out to be just a normal girl. Unsure what to do with her, the adventurers have brought her uh, with them back to the guild. Maybe talking to the girl will shed some light into what she was doing. And there's a sparring accident. Clara has gained some injuries. Our three months relationship with Clara is deteriorated. Dave Fremont and Clara were sparring in the training grounds, but due to a mishap, Clara got injured. 
Falcon believes it to be an honest accident on Fremont's part, but Clara has trouble believing it. Clara, you're really, like, getting up the nose of all of the people here. Coincidence? Perhaps. Anyway, Irving has got a level. I'll accept it. And... Rook has got a level. I'll accept it. Irving the Archer. New skills. For every tower higher than the target, increase your damage by 10%. I just like the idea of death from above, to be honest with you, so we'll take it. And Brook. We just picked up second wind on one of these characters. Uh, increase accuracy. What does cover do again? Oh, it, it swaps your position with someone else, right? I think I'm just going to grab second wind again. Okay, so one day on a couple of these people and they'll be ready. And Alono. Fiola. Wow, the mood turned cold all of a sudden. I heard the adventurers have found a ghost. They did. She's over there. Yeah, very ghost looking. Emily. Are you... I'm sorry. This is all I have, I swear. Take it and let me leave, please. Who am I to argue with someone bearing gifts? We've been like this ever since we got her here. I guess this is what happens when kids have to spend too much time with you. They instinctively realize that you're actually a child-eating witch. Hmm. So it's fine until you showed her your ugly mug. Don't bring my pretty face into this. You know as well as I do that I'm at least an 8 out of 10. Don't go there. <laughs> Amongst pigs, perhaps. At least I'm not trying to hide my age behind makeups. What? Oh, and don't act like that. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about it. You take that back. Make me. Um, guys. Pig. Hag. Guys. What? Yikes. I, I just wanted to say that you're scaring the girl. I'm trying to drive up the deal here. She's giving me resources to leave. Uh, is she hiding under a table? Come out, kid. There's nothing to fear. Uh, are you going to sell me off now? What? Of course not. Wait, can you do that? <laughs> but you're adventurers, are you not? Kids, what do you think adventurers are? A different word for bandits. She's not very bright, is she? Uh, we really have an image problem. I don't know what you've heard about us, but we uh, won't do anything to you. Really? Really? So, adventurers aren't bad guys. Well, if you disregard this person here amongst us, you stay out of this. Well, it's true. The adventurers are a rough bunch of people, but most rumours about them are greatly exaggerated. They aren't highwaymen, so there's nothing to be afraid of. That's a relief. I really thought it was in hot water this time. Damn it! We've lost the deal. I'm really sorry about my behaviour, but my mother used to warn me about adventurers. She would always tell me how adventurers would always keep trespassing into her house and take things that aren't theirs. Or how they would always respond with violence to everything. I guess those stories weren't true after all. Let's not burst the bubble. Anyway, the reason the adventurers brought you here was that someone has been causing a disturbance very close to the adventurer guild. I guess that was you, right? I'm sorry. I didn't want to cause a commotion. But I was scared of the bandits, so whenever someone approached me, I put them to sleep with one of my potions. Oh, is she the alchemist? Potions? Now that I look at you, are you by chance an alchemist? That's right. Emily is the name and potion making is my game. That should be on your sign. I'm from a family that has been producing re respectable alchemists for centuries now. Or at least that's what my parents always said. I see. Then I have only one question left. 
What were you doing all alone in the nearby woods? From what I heard, you've probably been roaming there for weeks now. The truth is, I'm searching for something. Something that I believe is hidden somewhere here. And what would that be? It's a rare plant. Something I've been looking for for a very long time now. You've been wandering the woods for weeks just to find a plant? Don't you know how dangerous the forest here is? Especially when you're going alone. I know, but I still need to search for it. Then how about you try to look for it from here? It'd be safer than just wandering around the forest on your own. And if you want to look for that ingredient, we can have at least some adventurers escort you to keep you safe. But, but I really don't have that much money to pay for lodging and protection. Also, we only have three people that are on the sick bed right now. Then why don't you work for us instead? Didn't you say that you were an alchemist? As it happens, we do need an alchemist. And we also have a building you could move into. What's this? You can be nice to somebody. As long as that somebody isn't you, I can be an angel. So how about it? If you want, you can stay with us, and we can help you with your search. In exchange, you work for us as an alchemist, and make some potions for adventurers. What do you say? Of course I'll accept. Thank you very much. Alright. Welcome to the Adventurer Guild, Emily. I like that we told her we weren't going to sell her off. But we've basically got her working for us for like bed and board uh, thank you uh, thank you all I really appreciate it like are we giving her a salary okay visit Emily at the alchemist oh hello guildmaster hello Emily I was just wondering how you're fitting in everything is great here this place is much bigger than the workstations I've usually worked with and there are a lot of ingredients here I can't wait to try it out and best of all, I can finally sleep on a bed again. Emily, there's not a bed in this room. Are you sleeping on the table? You don't exactly look like the adventurous type. Have you really been living the last few weeks on your own in the forest? It wasn't as bad as you might think. I'm fully capable of surviving on my own in the wilderness. Uh, are you capable of forming part of my four-man squad for the next mission? Because I kind of need a fourth. After all, I'm an alchemist... And there is a potion for every situation. If there was any danger, I could easily use my potions to get away. If I got sick, I could also use a potion to nurse myself back to health. If I was hungry or thirsty, I would just drink a potion. If I couldn't sleep because the ground was too hard, I'd just drink a potion to put myself to sleep. Is this potion just alcohol? Is this just a euphemism for alcohol? Because I'm pretty certain you could have replaced alcohol with, you know, the potion for the past four or five lines and it would still work nowadays. I even have a laughing uh, bit when I feel down. I guess that explains the maniacal laughter. People have been reporting. Thanks again, Guildmaster, for offering me a place to stay and helping me find the ingredient I'm looking for. We both benefit from this arrangement. I'm curious how good your potion-making skills are. Then how about I show it to you? Let's make potions. You should also tell me at some point what the herb you're looking for is, or the, the plant. Mana potion, minor. Health potion, minor. Antidote. Give me some of these, please. Give me three of these. Give me... You know what? Give me another three of these. Sure. Antidotes, I don't have the ingredients for. Also, I've not used one yet. Okay. And now I have two assignments. Safe hunting does not expire. Help farmers expires in 10 days. Right. I only have two people. Not ill. It's not even three. It's two. It's Irving and Brooke. Irv oh, I need potentially three. All right. Let's figure out if I can bring people that are on the sick bed. Can you please get in here? What if I bring Colton? A few farmers have asked the guild to help with their fields, saying that they don't have enough hands. They can't offer much in return, but working on the fields could help adventurers build up some core strength. Uh, Colton must be really happy with this. The magic user gets some core strength. Uh, a character's gained three hit points plus three SP. 
and they'll get 100 experience points, but they won't be super happy about it. And it'll take three time. Is that three days? Anyway, send them. Right. Are there any more people? There no, wait, this is a dormitory. I've gone to the wrong place. No. Griffin, just stay in the tavern. Don't worry about it, kid. Uh, I think this is the last day of the week. I think this is what these blue diamonds in the bottom right are. You can't see them. Uh, just give me a second. And... See, there's some blue diamonds in the bottom corner. I think that's showing me how far along I am through the week. You're not really missing much in the bottom right corner, by the way, either. It's just the end of uh, day timer. Which I might actually be pushing right now, because people are very sick. So we'll lose that. And find the missing sun is nine days. Okay. Let me burn another day. Arguments in the tavern. Some of our adventurers got into an argument with travelers. It seems like they made fun of the guild uh, and adventurers in general. Tavi was able to stop the adventurers before anything could happen, but needless to say, it left the adventurers in a sour mood. As long as the guild doesn't prove itself, we'll have to enjoy being looked down upon. Ava, everyone's lost mood. Fantastic. Great. Thanks. A new week has started. McCann has returned with fresh supplies and new wares. The adventurers have been paid what they were due. I noticed, and new adventurers have arrived at the tavern. Holy moly. Bring some more people in. Natalie. The picture of health. She's pretty, but she's a pessimist. Perfect. You meet my right uh, criteria, even. Eleanor. Permanent positive mood buff. She's rational. She's tiny. And bright. We don't have a size requirement here. Welcome aboard. Hazel, bright, tiny, optimist. Uh, again, there's no. You have to be above this line to get in the. The uh, what have I called this place? The the drunken ostrich. Anyway, get in here. So we have someone called Stone, educated, scared. We don't have cowards here, so I'm sorry. Eleanor. Healthy, resourceful, oblivious. Uh, perfect. That's actually the best trait for this. You'll be oblivious when I send you on a death mission. Slade is optimist, lucky, a born leader, but he's a bit clumsy. Uh, that actually gives you plus crit, interestingly. You know what? I'll allow a clumsy person. Sawyer is eagle-eyed, lucky, and nimble. Sounds great. Resourceful, fast learner, and a sadist, Scarlet. Welcome, Stone. See you at last rounds. Alright, see you later, New Mew. To be fair, I'm wrapping up in a moment anyway. We have another assignment. Does not expire, does not expire, does not expire. Excellent. Uh, we probably have enough people to send out on a normal mission now. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Let's do some of these then. I assume time off. Oh my god, you can send a lot of people on this. Gain items with total value of 425 to 575. So these are just repeatable quests then, right? I assume. Oh, adventures do not heal during the assignment. I see. Adventures will take a vacation, come back in a better mood. And this gives me stuff for potions. Okay, that's really cool. So there are repeatable quests where you can do that. I like it. And... So you can sort it out by availability as well. How is it doing availability, though? It's not doing it the way I thought. Can I sort this by health? Because that's kind of what I want. Days hired is a really weird sorting criteria. Party. There must be a way of creating a party. Maybe I'm dumb. A set class goal. 
set class goal. Set a target class for this adventurer. If an adventurer is a target class, the game will only notify you about an available class change if the adventurer... Okay, sure, cool. How do I make a party? Maybe I'll, I'll Google that myself, or I'll, I'll look through the help notes myself. Anyway, YouTube, that's going to do it for this episode. If you've enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out, and I'll see you again next time. Uh, bye.